Ugandan urban areas of mainly fish landing sites are some of the fastest growing centres of trade. However, the money from fish sales and greater disposable income has led to promiscuity, a principal cause of HIV AIDS infection. In the case of the rapidly growing fish landing sites along major shorelines, fishermen are faced with HIV AIDS infection reportedly at 22%. <laughs> This is much higher than the national average of 6.3%. Due to this statistic, Nasambia Home Care HIV AIDS Department has engaged the fishing community and those operating at Gaba landing sites in HIV AIDS prevention activities, including testing, cancelling and sensitisation. The landing sites of HIV spectrum might range from 15 to 22 in Uganda, among the fish products. And that's why... We have classified them as priority population. We want at least 22 percent who have HIV. All of them know their HIV status. The entire Gaba landing site reverberated with reminders through loudspeakers that HIV AIDS is real and has no cure. Men, women and children lined up for testing and cancelling services that medical workers from the Sambia Home Care were offering. The first time they want to ensure that most of the people who are HIV positive, 90% of them are aware of their status and also want to ensure that 90% of these people have been enrolled into care and also to ensure that the people who have been enrolled into care, 90% of these people are also retained into care and are healthy. Unlike in the early days of HIV AIDS infection in Uganda, medical workers say infected persons are less likely to die and not stigmatised as much as in the past and look healthier due to medication. Because once you have the viral load zero, you are no longer transmitting that is other. As Ugandans mark the World International AIDS Day, the good news is that with medication, an infected person can stabilise and even give birth to children who test negative. Despite government intervention, health experts express fears that if this trend is not reversed, the government won't be able to cope with the growing numbers of HIV infections. Kate Altamira, UBC News, Gubba Landers.